It's John here, Ojibu Ravages, and today I'm showing you how you can uh, make a no CB patch for the Zim3. It's pretty easy actually. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to go to Safari and go to the link which I'll give you in the description of the video. It's a pretty good link actually. This is uh, for this file right here, this is a 7-zip file. And uh, yeah, so what you need to do as well is you need to create a new folder. And uh, yeah, by the way, this is a Mac tutorial, by the way, just for Mac. Now, you want to create a new folder and call it Backup Zim3 or whatever. Now, what you want to do, you need unarchiver, which are uh, archive or archive utility, whatever, but the uh, unarchiver is pretty best one. Now, you want to double click it, and the unarchiver should extract it right here. Now, once it's extracted, you open the folder, and there should be three files in there ts3w.exe and yes yeah, so how to get the zim3 this is an OCD patch not an OCD crack by the way so what you need to do to get the CD just go to well, whatever uh, it's pretty important you just need to get it I don't know where from but you just need to get the CD once and install it and then ask you for a software update do it once okay once you have the update and you start the sim3 launch again it's gonna ask you for another update and you cancel that. That is pretty important. You need to have the version of this game on. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you the version of the game which you need. Oh, hurry up! I'm oh, sorry. Such a laggy pro. It's not laggy, but it takes such a long time. So you see, update away, but I'm just gonna hit cancel. And right here, you see the version of it. It's pretty interesting. This is a uh, 1.229 blah. So just update it once, okay? That is pretty important. That is mainly the most important thing. And after you have the no CD patch, don't ever update it again, okay? Just trust me with that. Now, okay, the first thing you want to do, you've installed it already, I guess. And uh, what you want to do, of course, you have already started this file right here. And just gonna go to the folder and you see both uh, those three files. You actually don't need that file here, just let in the folder. And yeah, it's not important for us at all. It doesn't matter at all. Alright, hold on. Oh, I hate it. Every single time. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just close it. Now, what you want to do, you're going to go to your applications folder. And you go to this one 3. And you should have three files. Uh, once them three, then it's a readme, and then it's the uninstall. Now you go to the normal dim three, right click it, and go to show package contents. Then there should be the contents. You double click that, and you go to resources. And you scroll. You should be up here, and you scroll all the way down until you find trans gaming. Double click that, and you should have C drive. You're gonna double click C drive, and there should be program files. Then double click program files, electronic arts, dim three. Uh, game bin and here you go you have some files in here now what you want to do I've already modded those files so they are just modded for me or already I don't need to do anything with them now what you need to do you have the ts3w.exe right here and you have the tslhost.dll here as well now you wanna just copy those two just copy with Apple uh, C and once you've copied them you're just gonna paste them into your backup folder and that is pretty important then you have those both files in here there's a the normal file which are just unmodded alright and then you go to the folder which you've extracted which is right here which is from the 7 zip file just gonna open it and those two files of course you, you need to move the files which are wait where are they or you need to move both files after you've pasted them into the backup folder you need to move them to the trash so copy both and just move them to the trash now then what you need to do you just need to paste both of those files just drag them in there that's pretty easy actually I've already done that that's why I'm not gonna do that but trust me it's no virus or anything it's not gonna mess up your game or whatever it's just really really working I know it's hard to twist someone uh, on that point but trust me it's nothing I mean there are no real viruses for Mac, so anyway, how will I even do that? Okay, so once you've done that, you're just gonna close the program. I just want to show you that I don't have any CD. You see what the hell? 
Oh, shit. I do actually have a CD. Wait, hold on. Alright, now you see me. I'm. You see? I'm just... Just... Alright, here. You hear the sound, and I don't have a CD in my training. You're gonna go, and now I'm gonna... Last of them three, which is right here. The files in there, which I've put in there. It's just gonna take a bit of time actually. Oh my god, this video. And now it's a software update. I'm just gonna hit cancel. Don't ever download that. Press play. And you have to sign. And you should see. Blah blah. Trust me, I've already played it. It's not like if you move to a neighborhood or whatever and it just everything doesn't. It just, just doesn't uh, disappear or whatever, it's just the whole game not can crash. You have the full game, you just don't need a CD or anything. Um, this video is about 10 minutes long now, but it takes a lot of time to load it up, uh, like Sims 3 and all that. That's why I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to go to back to my desktop. And just once again, I don't have a CD in my disk drive. So just, just to tell you, there's nothing. Okay. So just with those files, that is how you do it, okay guys? So thanks for watching, my name is Johnny, or is your desk here in the mod? Peace.